Hi, I'm Josh Van Veld. I'm a senior producer at High Voltage Software, and we're here at GDC 2013. So let's talk a little about your new game, LeVamp. What's this all about? So LeVamp is a game where we're putting a twist on the endless runner genre. And in LeVamp, you are trying to protect a little vampire. He's just finished kind of wreaking havoc on the streets of Paris, and now an angry mob that's full of mimes and men armed with baguettes has chased him into the forest, which is full of obstacles. And you kind of play the phantom butler who is tasked with trying to keep LeVamp safe. And so you're trying to guide him through this dangerous forest and keep him away from all the perils therein. What's the actual gameplay experience reminiscent of in your mind? So, you know, think of a lot of runners where you control the character, right? Uh, this is sort of the inverse, where if there's a stream, vampires can't cross bodies of water, so you have to swipe to knock down a tree so he can get across the stream. There are garlic pigs in the forest, and of course vampires are allergic to garlic, so you have to flick those away from him. Uh, there are all manner of monsters there who are trying to take a swipe at him, and you have to perform various simple motions to kind of keep him moving and, and keep those hazards out of his way. And if you fail, the crowd catches up to him and you know beat him with baguettes. What are your thoughts in terms of how this game would be enhanced by Tegra technology? So, you know, we're uh, coming from a, a console background, and so we're used to being able to do amazing stuff with particle effects, really high-end models, um, really intricate animations with lots of bones in the, the character models. And when we move this game to Tegra, uh, we're going to be able to do much more of that kind of stuff. We're going to be able to enhance the experience and really make it, you know, dazzling. We think the game looks great already, but I think we can kick it up another notch with Tegra. Coming from the console background, what are your thoughts on how far Tegra 4 technology will push what's available on mobile games in the very near future? So Tegra 4 is amazing. You know, the, we're already kind of wowed by the fact that the, today's mobile devices are so powerful, but Tegra 4 is obviously saying that's not good enough. We're going to push it way further. And so that's kind of like laying down the gauntlet for us to see how much we can do with it. And we're definitely excited to try to rise to that challenge. Can you talk a little about the mobile gaming uh, space from the perspective of a very mainstream mass market audience and uh, a lot, your two most recent games, especially LeVamp, seem like they are focused on that audience? So what we're focused on is making games that are accessible to everybody, but not necessarily casual in a very simple gameplay sense. So we like to offer gameplay that's easy to learn but then difficult to master. So um, you know if you're a, a hardcore gamer you're gonna have fun with LeVamp. You're gonna be you know trying to challenge your friends on the the leaderboards for high scores but then you can give the game to your five-year-old daughter and she's gonna have a great time with it too. So we're trying to appeal to gamers of all ages and, and to kind of turn casual gamers into more mid-core gamers and also to make games that hardcore gamers are gonna love on their mobile devices. What excites you when you look at the mobile gaming space today and, and how things are progressing? Well, for me, I think, you know, in some ways we're getting back to some of our roots of making games with slightly smaller teams. And so, you know, again, as a console developer, we have some know-how in terms of taking advantage of the full power of the devices, uh, but we don't necessarily need our entire studio to do it. So I can work with a relatively small group of people really closely, and we just have so much fun making these games. This last round of titles has probably been the most fun that, that we've ever done, and uh, I think the quality kind of comes from how much the teams enjoy working on it. 